Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. A great warm welcome to you. If this is your first time on my channel, yes, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, just remember to pause the video now and just put that subscribe on your list of subscription. That will be wonderful. Also, um, if you do like my content, do give likes and everything. It does help my little channel grow. <laughs> I do appreciate that, guys. And lastly, please do share my videos with other guys that are enthusiastic about Farming Simulator and making maps and all that kind of nice things, man. Great. Okay. Uh, so, yes, we are carrying on with the Durango conversion. Um, we left off finishing off all the placeables in the... Uh, this is Ravenport. Wow. I, I was busy making the Ravenport uh, video, so that's why that is open. But we were busy finishing off the placeables from the the the, um, the original map and what's left now is all the train stuff you'll see there's a host i've never seen a map with so many train things my word this map is actually a train map it's not a normal farming map it's just a train map there's three train systems on this map as you can see here it's got two three different uh three actually three different railways um that intertwines with each other like like you won't believe so it's going to be quite fun doing this train system however i'm just going to show you one system so i, I won't make three videos on because it's going to be f fairly long videos to just do one train system let alone three you know so i'll do one and show you one train system with all its cell points and that type of stuff and um i've been doing just a bit of uh, mind uh sort of reading the, the the original map to see how i can incorporate that into fs22 um the easiest way will be because the train system in fs22 works totally different than the fs19 one with those the peer appearing and reappearing and disappearing and selling points that is uh just different you know so what we're going to do is we're going to bare bound the fs22 system to work like the fs19 map system and then just bring all the triggers and stuff in and then that should be the the end of it you know so yeah that's going to be quite a tall order but to make it simple for you guys i think i'm going to do one system and with its uh, uh cell points and all of that all right so for the fun of it let us open the original map that has been converted um, by giants that never works but at least we have the workings of the map in there which is nice um so yeah, let's open this and then I will just show you what I normally do um, in situations like this, how to bring a train system in from another map. Um, all right, so in this map, I've had a look already. Uh, the main train station is this one here. It's got actually, no, it's not that one. Where is that main thing? It is a huge station with three. Here we go. It's got three rails. This is where the three train railways get together in this huge main system here in in this area of of the map you know it's like there's the coastal area the roads going down there's a port down there and everything so there's a train going that way and then trains servicing the rest of the map so it's a fairly like i say it's i've never seen a map with so many train things so it's going to be quite fun but anyway so what you're going to do is have a look at the original xml and find the first train system and find where the R3D is for it. So the XML for it is uh, map there, placeables, train system, and then train system 01. So I suppose if we go there, placeables, train system, we'll probably find the XML and the R3Ds there. Here we go. Excellent. So all we need to do is import the R3D of that train system so we can get the spline that's the only thing we're interested in is the spline because uh, we're going to use the fs22 train system and pull the spline into the fs22 if it makes sense that way guys so i'm just going to do this and immediately when you pull it in it should appear and there's your spline already highlighted so that is the very left one if i can say left or first rail good all right so all we need to do then is grab the spline from that. I can actually export all three splines in one go, which will probably be um, 
be much make more much more sense so let's just import all three uh, of those train systems so I can just get all the splines out into our new map all right so import um, the reason why you have to import this is remember this stuff is not in your map it's actually just loaded via your placeable system so in FS19 the placeable system was loaded by the default items or the items XML like they've got here and that XML calls uh, the, the items XML calls the train system XML and in the train system XML you get the R3D so the train system XML loads this R3D that we've now opened up in the map so that's the reason why I pull them into the map and then we can have um, we can have uh, uh, them visible in the R3D or in the map and we can export them properly all right so all I'm gonna do is just pull in here another thing called splines like so splice not splice splines like so <laughs> so create a uh, I create a, a what do you call it a um, a transform group and I just grab the splines and drop them in there so there's the one spline so if I now click there it should be there right train system 2 we should have spline train system 2 and train system 3 drop it in there all right this is just temporary so it doesn't really matter and then we're gonna go file export selection with files and because this is going to be only spline so it's not going to have much stuff connected to it so we're going to go into our map mods uh, Durango import and then I'm going to call this splines so I'm just making a folder here we tend to want going to delete this folder again so just for the fun of it call the i3d splines save it when it gets to this I'm going to go yes to both of them for now just to check and see if there's any stuff uh, linked uh, out of the map mm, I wonder let's go no on both of them and then just close the map like this we're done with it all done without saving and then we can go into our Durango which is under mods imports splines and there it is all right so immediately I can see there's nothing um, connected to it because it, it would have had other folders here so right click uh, go to notepad with it and then under files you see there's nothing so it is only splines that's in there which is very nice so we can delete this once we've imported it into the map or into our train system <coughs> sorry for that good okay guys so now we want to now open Durango so we open our our, our our map that we're working on and we're going to import a train system now now the easiest way to do is let me think now the US train system is a total uh, mess I would rather import the French train system because the French train system is actually the one that is sort of working correct way around and its uh, its positioning and stuff is, is correctly set up but the, the US one it works against the flow and it is just confusing how they set it up it does not make any sense but it does work but uh, if you try and explain it to someone it is a nightmare you know <laughs> so let's not bother with the US one let's import the French one so we're gonna go file import go to FS22 data uh, placeables I believe and then uh, not placeables it is maps sorry uh, yeah placeables and then map FR and then train system and import its train system good good now I can't remember which train system has got only the uh, we will have a look now railroad crossings it's got this railroad crossings which uh, if you don't have cars set up let me explain it this way if you don't have cars uh, and splines and things running on your map 
which I don't know if this map has. Maybe we should first have a look at that. But the railroad crossings is a pain. So what I normally do is I just chuck all the r all the railroad crossings, get rid of them, because the, the the cars stop anyway for the train if there's already a train. You can have a, a crash if if um, um, if there is. For instance, the train and the car meet together at at the same point <laughs> on a road. You know, I'm talking about the traffic now in uh, the automated traffic. But if the train is there already on the the track driving, the car will stop automatically. It is just how it is. The game works like that. You know. So yeah. Um, all right. I wonder if we should have a look before we carry on. Um, let's just quickly have a look at the original map if there was any splines for vehicles because um, you need two-way traffic splines for those um, traffic blocking systems and stuff and there's little lights and things to work um, train system then that's in train system work to the Durango converted uh, Durango here we go let's just have a quick look for splines uh, traffic splines I mean I'm having some nice coffee in the background guys so sit back and relax with me you grab something nice to drink <laughs> and let's have fun together guys good all right so I'm sure I'm sure there were some splines normally in the gameplay traffic system spline east okay there is the one and this glowing stuff it's all right spline middle so this map seemed to have uh, one-way traffic on it so there is some let me just zoom out and get a better a better idea of this spline system there you go maybe we can just highlight the whole thing mm. so there is places where there is dual traffic and I wonder if Oh, you see, nice. There's a bridge, for instance. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. So everywhere where the train actually intercepts, we've got bridges, which is actually a good news. So yeah, we can get rid of those things. But if you if you don't get rid of it, the whole key and trick of it, I'll show I'll I'll, I'll show you in the map quickly the trick with those. Um, railroad crossing trigger things this things is when you place the railroad crossing base have a look at this I'm gonna press selected press F so when you place this thing you'll see that it has got a traffic blocking position thing now this whole system detects the spline so if it's not close to a traffic spline it will give you an error in game that the spline could not F you it couldn't find the traffic spline you know that type of nonsense so you'll get with those so um and it yeah it, it's just sometimes it's a pain but anyway the train system i'm gonna go control x and then we're going to take it and push it up into gameplay and our placeholders that's the correct spot for the train system it can stay in there you don't have to delete it but it's good to have it um in it must be in your placeholders if you want to leave it in the map i've explained that many times already how it works and everything so yeah just keep it there all right there's the train spline that we want to replace you see now that one we're going to delete but leave it in there for now so the next thing to import is our export from the other map the actual uh, splines that we we, we uh, did you know so what we want to do is go into our map where we have put it so Durango and we go to what was it called imports and oh splines there it is splines good now once you've imported this into the map it will drop in there everything th should be in place because all your train stuff is normally at zero there's nothing to place you know so there you go so it's at position zero and all your splines should already be on target at the right spot at the right level everything should be fine so this splines now I can grab these splines individually again and because our train system is at zero they will they should end up exactly at the right spot 
So why is that? I think I've made a mistake there. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I can just select them like so. All of them. Control X. Cut them out. And then drop them into our train system here. Control V to paste them. And they should appear again any second now. There you go. And then all I'm going to do is... Uh, that is going to be fun. Um, move them up. I wonder if I can move them all like this. Yes, wonderful. The electricity spline. I'm going to leave that for now. We can delete it. We're not going to use it. We're going to have to balance the XML, guys. So the train spline now I can just delete because we're not going to use that. So that's our original. So we just keep the the hierarchy but it's already going to change now because we've got three splines this time and not only one so what's going to happen now our driving range now has gone to 28.3 or 8.3 or 2.3 or whatever the the the, the export is all right so unfortunately <coughs> we're going to <coughs> sorry for that have to rebalance our xml with the nodes from this one and sort it out we're going to do it anyway because we're going to delete the railroad crossing. So there we go. Just delete all six of them. We're not going to use them. The callers we're def definitely going to need. Um, and the railroad callers, guys, those are those little blocks that we, where you place it, you can call the train to you. So I'm going to just drop some randomly, well not randomly, but control B one here for the center part of the map. I'll leave it there which is good and then I think one at the port and then maybe one at that side of the map there by the by this area here so I'll put one here so that there's at least um, some callers sort of everywhere on the map you know I'm just gonna get that in there let's put it here nice yeah it's like so Let's just zero it then. I know it should be fine. And then <coughs> we want one at the port as well. There by the sea. So that's our three railroad callers all done and dusted. Somewhere here is a nice big train silo. Train whatever port train thing, my Bobby. I think I'll put it here. Control B. So what we're doing now is just aligning stuff and um, setting it up to sort of be in the spot where you can use them all right so there you go so that's our three callers all done oh you know what i've now forgot guys um we cannot do this as one train system there's going to be three train systems so i can't put them like that what i need to do with those three callers then is they need to be on one spline in other words i need to select one of the splines Let's let's do uh, spline valley that one as first. So I want to move this spline valley up in there so it will be first. Hey, move up. You can do this obviously as well, but it takes so much time. But I suppose it's all right. So that's first, second, third. All right. So the first one we have. Oh, you see, I can't, I can't even put these splines all in here. So all I need to do then is keep this two out, like so. Control X, leave them out of this train system because I'm going to put those other two splines, each one in its own train system. All right, so I'm just going to drop this in here. Control V once again. So keep them there on ice for our other train system so in your mind just know that we're working on this one so we only have one spline by the way <laughs> so our driving range still gonna be and the rest of the callers the nodes we're gonna have to balance it anyway because we've deleted quite a few nodes out of it okay so that my friends is now the setup of our i3d for the train system or the first one of the three um, yeah it doesn't look too bad okay so train system one then so we grab this one i'm gonna call it train system one so we don't get confused 
copy that name, control C, file, export selection. You can, in this case, you can, because there's no uh, um, connections to it, but let's do it with files. All right, because it's part of the base games, I'm going to go with files. You go uh, Durango. This we can delete now, by the way, but uh, we will get back to those. So I'm going to go placeables. Create a new folder here called train system, like so, train system. And then in there, we save our I3D. So it, this will be the, the first one of the three train systems. So save it up. When it gets to this, you can go yes to both of them. All right, so that's fine. It will keep everything in-game because the train system is part of the in-game system. Okay. Now, what's nice now is if we now go to our map where we've exported, I want to just show you there to placeables, train system, there it is. So this is now our new train system. If I now open this train system, you will only see the spline and the railroad callers and all of that. There's nothing, it's not part of the map, it's a train system on its own. And this is the I3D, by the way, that will be called. So if I now go spline, there's the spline. And our railroad callers will be obviously showing. There's the one, you know, as we put it. All right. So I can close this. Don't save. Back into our map. And now I can put these callers at at the first spline. Um, wherever. So naturally, uh, our next one. Oh yes, this spline is the one going to the coast. So we're going to find three places where, where we can put callers for it. So there will be one. It's going to be interesting now, because which train are we going to call? Because um, there's now three trains. Mm, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to have to have three callers here on this spot, so you can call each train, you know. So yeah, we're going to see if there's a way to name this caller. And I think there is in the XML, we can call it a name, I, th I think, train uh, train down south or whatever, you know, train north or whatever. <laughs> it's going to be confusing. Oh, wait, it's going to be fine. All right, we will, we will make it, guys. All right, so let's follow this um, railroad system down to the coast and find spots where we can call the train. Here's another spot where we can call the train. So call it two, we will place it here. I'm going to drop it in here. Just stand there for us. Nice. Okay, cool. And then... Yo, there's another. This is actually the port. Which one was that? Three... Yeah, so I can say this place has so many stuff, so much stuff. There's another one. So call it three, we put here. But I think we should rather put it here by the port. Or maybe we should put two here rather than at that one. So rather have a, a cooler here, control B. Suddenly we have, we don't have enough coolers. <laughs> my wet. My wet, my wet, my wet. Uh, yeah, I think let's leave it here. That's fine. All right, so that's our three coolers done. Good. And our first railway then is fine. So I'm just going to export this once again because we've made now changes to it. And for now, I think... Oh, no, we, we can't... Um, we still have to set up the driving range. Oh, the driving range, by the way, uh, because we're going to do it FS19 style, we're going to delete the driving range. We're not going to use the driving range at all. Uh, it's not part of our system. Mm, it's just going to be blanked out on the XML I have. Have a look at the Raven port. That's the where I've set it up correctly. If I can quickly just browse there to refresh my memory. Uh, mods, Raven port, maps, uh, map if or oh, everything here was on the imported unfortunately. Here we go. Train systems, uh, map if or XML train system. If I have a look here, you'll see Driving range was just blotted out, yes. That's all. We just chuck it, get rid of it. It was the only thing in there. The railroad callers and the driving uh, um, and the, um, the locos and all of that. Trigger markers, it's for your three railroad callers. And then the hotspots is 
also the three railroad cooler hotspots where you where you call the trains or whatever. Good. So that's basically it. Um, all right. So train system one XML. We need to then get from. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look now. Our driving range we can delete. Oh, before I forget, it, I wanted to have a look at the actual R3D. Uh, imported train system train system i3d this is now the one from Ravenport where I've set it up to work FS19 style to be honest I prefer this style of train system that's all that's in there see I've put a blank transform with <laughs> with the with the um, where that thing was uh, that I've deleted so I've just to make myself but we're going to balance the XML anyway so we can just by the way um, delete it so let us not bother with that all right delete the driving range we're not going to need it great so now once again export with files and just overwrite train system one to to sort of uh, cement in the the changes that we have made good Right, so that, now, we have to get an XML to pull this into the game. And now we're going to copy. Remember, you used the French one, so stick to the one that you've used. Don't use another train systems XML. So just to keep things uh, straight and simple, go data, placeable data, maps. Where is that now? It is under placeables, map e train system. There it is. So we copy this, control C. Because we've got a custom one, we're going to overwrite this uh, stuff in there. So we we want to go, um, yeah, let's keep it all in one place as, it, uh, as I always like to do it. Paste it in here and we call it train system one, XML. All right. And then obviously we're going to copy it and make two more and the second one will be train system 2 like so and then our last one will be train system 3 and we're gonna each do each of them separately you know so open that up and there you go now first of all we need to have a look at the store data that's all fine there's nothing to change at the base we are calling that r3d of train system 1 so we want to change this directory to our Durango uh, placeables train system train system one. So we want to have this directory here. So it is placeables train system. Placeables train system. Just make sure of the spelling. So it's placeables train system. So we can just modify our existing thing here because our naming system is the same. So it is placeables, train system, train system, i3d is what we need to change. So it is train system 1. So I'm just going to click it like that, copy it. I know the spelling should be alright, but just for, for the heck of it, there you go, train system 1.i3d. Hotspot stays, trigger marker stays, AI update areas. Um, did I have that on... Uh, this was the converted one we can chuck that we don't need that anymore what I want to check is just my train system on um, we are done oh, we're not done there I uh, just want to go back to Ravenport and have a quick browse at my train system there map if our data now it's not a data it's map if our um, system so I'm have a quick look what did I do with those um, AI update areas now the AI stuff base placement hotspot yeah you see I just emptied it all uh, clear areas leveling indoor I just emptied all of them all right so this just totally makes sense guys so all we need to do is get rid of the AI stuff all inside Boop. The splines, oop. 
now splines I'm sure we need to put a note for the spline oh it's part of AI so we don't need that um, <coughs> because FS19 didn't have AI so we're gonna just do it the same as we did there on the train stays the clearing leveling indoor okay so that stays perfect railroad crossings we can delete all of them railroad caller stays so from there railroad crossings up to there so shift and then click Oh, that was wrong, but anyway, let's just delete it up to there and then take out that one. So then we have train system, it's rent, spline node, there's our spline. I was concerned about the spline, but this is our train spline. The electricity spline, remember that we deleted because it's all diesel, we're going to stick with diesel. The driving range, we are going to delete, we've deleted the driving range. The train stays, we want loco 04 is diesel, not loco 1. So it's locomotive 04 here. And the rest stays the same. By the way, if you want to add more carts to your train, say for instance, um, you want, like in this game, it's got a lot of wood and you want, want more, more timber wagons and more wood chip wagons. You can, all you do is control C and just add one more wagon or two more or four more or whatever. But don't make your train too long, guys. Uh, it is a mess working with a long train. Uh, believe me, it becomes very difficult to, to, to uh, navigate a long train on a map, especially when you have to park that little... Um, train wagon there in the back of the train over the south point and then judge which one is actually there in the back it is a nightmare if you've got a long train <laughs> it's easy when there's only four or five wagons you know but when the train becomes big and long oh my word yeah you're gonna cry okay so let's balance this i3d quickly because this is train system one um oh the xml sorry not the i3d um so in order to do that guys we need to open the actual i3d of our train system so it's durango placeables so we've overwritten it so open it up so it should now have no driving range have nothing in it except for the few things that we've left in there so that's our railroad callers there it is spline our spline for valley all right, so what we want to do is get in here. How am I going to do this now? Uh, simple and easy. Try and get it this way so I can see both things here. Okay, so node zero, 00 is for our spline. So uh, let's just have a look here at spline is still at node 0, which is nice. I like. And then I know train the hotspots is 080 080 you see that's exactly the same things and 081 is the markers so let's do them one at a time and start from the top so our first railroad caller is now 01 control C back into the XML so it's not 080 anymore it's now 01 control V like that and I suppose that one will be if I look zero two and zero three, yes, respectively. So all we can do is do that control V and control V like so, and then just make this a two and a three. Then we've done all three of them, and then teleport nodes. I suppose it's going to be the same thing if you look at uh, the marker. Where is the teleport nodes on these things? Oh, just have a quick look. 080, 08, oh, no, it's exactly the same. So just copy and paste over right there. Control V. Control V and Control V. Control V. Why is this one now skew? Right, so that's two again. So just balancing the nodes, guys, so that they are not giving you errors. And that last one, make it look nice. Right, so that's our hotspots for the three. <coughs> and because we've placed those uh, little thingamabobs, they are already uh, in the right spot. 
So I want to just have a look at 081 would be, if that was the 0 or the 1, this will be 10 and marker. So it looks like the the marker or the trigger, I, I would say the trigger will be the same as the um, the little teleport or, or, or the little marker, the trigger marker. No, it is the trigger marker. Sorry, I'm confused now, guys. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> oh, my word. All right. So, railroad marker is the hotspot, the marker. So, it is going to be uh, railroad marker. It is zero 011. One one. Control C. Back into the XML. Let's move along. Zero 011. One one. Marker 2 will be marker. 021 control C back into the XML and I suppose this will be 031 if we look at that marker yes control C back into the XML Oop, like so so that's our three markers right and then the next thing rent and spline is done the offset by the way is how high your um, your your spline is off from the ground or whatever you know so you can make this if your train's wheels are a bit flat you know <laughs> it looks like the wheels are flat you can lift the train up by just making the spline offset a tiny little bit higher all right so we're going to do the same thing now here with this it is zero one copy that and drop it over the railroad caller which is actually the caller so it's the same the same draw here, so the first one is zero, uh, what, zero 01 and that will be zero 02 and this will be zero 03, so just change it like that and believe it or not, this should should be our um, <coughs> this should be our train system 1 all done and dusted and sorted apart from the cell points and stuff which we haven't set up um, which I'm sure we'll be getting to. Okay, so Spline Valley. I just want to make this visibility off. Otherwise, we're going to see it in the map. Save it up, like so. And Drain System I3D. We can close. Right, and this XML is now done. So, Store dot Train System I'm going to leave that as as is and then save it can be sold false yeah that should be false because you don't want to show it in store or be able to sell it you can't sell a train system so all of that should be fine so I'm going to leave that open in case we need to come back now the next thing is we need to call this into into the map via our placeable system so I'm going to maximize again and we use the um, the French one, which will be this one, map FR. And we're going to find two things we need. Um, is it two? No, it's only one. And that is the train system.xml. So control F, we don't need the train cell point. Um, so what we want is... Um, Is it train? Train, 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 lime station. There you go, train system. Control C. Copy that into our placeable. I'm gonna I normally put my train system very first line, so I'm gonna just do what I naturally do or normally do is just drop it in there. And then naturally we want to uh, overwrite the directory structure once again to get to the XML. So it will be train system 1 if I'm correct. And it will be XML. Let's have a look. XML. And I think it was only XML. So it is Durango XML and then train system 1. Yes. And anyway, we do three, remember that. So, <laughs> so it's only uh, three of them, so obviously like so. And because we have store data for that, 
we need to copy this into store data as well control C uh, our mod disk our mod disk overwrite the next one like so control V unfortunately that's the way it is you're gonna have to do three of them but we'll get to those in a in a jiffy um, I'm just thinking now we've already got I want to quickly just run a test <coughs> so we're only pulling in the one so that should be all right that should be fine yeah it should be all right so train system XML train system 1.xml sorry train system 1.xml is this one and it calls that i3d which is good right the rest is the rest is fine so let us quickly just for fun have a check now if our train is actually popping up in game uh, it will not work yet because we don't have any cell points for it yet or any <coughs> any places but we should be able to see it and at least call it with the railroad callers if all is well because remember now how this system is going to work is you're going to drive your train up to a loading station where where you have um, the, 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 um, the silos and then and then you will be um, loading your train there at the silos and then you will drive to a cell pot spot one of the either the port or one of the other things and you will drop your stuff there by the cell point into whatever the cell point grid and uh, yeah sell your stuff there like in fs19 the same drill good so it's going to be interesting to see now that that is going to be working or if it does work it will be nice when it when a thing does this when it loads this one 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 at a time it normally tells me there's a problem somewhere but in this case I, i'm not too sure why it's just my the loading of the map sometimes it gets stuck and then you have to check if the game freezes or whatever and it doesn't want to keep on loading <laughs> you've got a problem good I still haven't fixed those other errors it's still the same days and I've just kept on recording and working you know on <laughs> on the map because I want to finish this map man good all right so now we should um, we should be able to see a train if we we, we did the port one we did this port one don't see a train icon which is a bit of a concern which tells me that our train is not working it is a sad story we did save the map did we I can't remember now <coughs> let's quickly just jump in here have a quick browse see what errors we have on the train system missing indoor areas that's just a storage barn that is update areas the new earth thing that's new earth all these are new earth stuff uh, train system placeables cannot load store items xml train system 1.xml why not no store item for xml oh okay uh, that is interesting let us have a quick browse quick game that's why our train is not showing if the store data is, is wrong so it's telling us that it can't find store data for train system i have to verify everything now guys um so our train system there it is placeable train system so it's xml train system one and then at our mod desk we've got xml train system one there's no problems that I can see I didn't overwrite anything that I shouldn't our little red line is there that's all fine hmm what could be the problem I think oh I know what it is I know what it is um, we should have a placeable uh, a store item for this as well that is selling station train so 
Now, what I find, guys, um, when you work with some of this in-game stuff, it's better to put it in the store items of XML, not in the mod desk. But let's just try it in the mod desk. I think this is maybe where our problem is. If we now go to mod desk, let's put overwrite this one here, control V. So there's our selling station train. No, what's this now? Where did I get that from? That is the, the wrong placement. This is Durango, selling station train. What's this now? <laughs> Sorry, man, this is the wrong thing. I should have copied this. Train system one with XML. Oh, boy, I'm confused now. You've got the selling station, which, um, which we've got. I can't remember. Why did I put this in there? Okay, I'm not going to fiddle with that now. I just want to try and keep my... I think this was for... Um, yeah, I'm not going to fiddle with that. I've put that in into the map. So I must actually take this out for now. Because it's going to confuse the whole map. I think, was I think we might need to... Uh, might need to get rid of this. We'll see now. I'll just do that. All right. So there it's out. Maybe that was the concern. So I'm just gonna save that. So it is only. It is only that one. XML train system. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is grab this line, cut it out here, save this up, and then go into my maps. Durango uh, store items.xml. You'll see that the train system, there's selling station train, and then the train system is in here somewhere. Um, that's this plant. There should be one for, for train, unless. But this is, yeah, this is just normal. So I'm just going to drop it in here, just to make sure. I'm thinking sometimes you get problems with these things. Right, let's have a check now, see if it's now working. <coughs> so if you, if you find that error, and you know for a fact your spelling is correct, your lines, your directories, everything is correct, and it's still telling you that the store data is not loading just try and move your um, your line into not Ravenport sorry uh, Durango try and move your line into the store items XML and if your line is already in the store items XML move it to your mod desk store data line section you know so play between the two for the store items error until you uh, but do make sure that you don't have directory problems that normally normally sorts all the issues you know so let's have a check good come on there you go now confirm no okay I don't see a train we should see a train moving about so which tells me that there is definitely a problem that we we don't see at the moment so let me just check these errors again uh, occlusions that's not it children all the children existing store uh, no store item for XML file XML train system one it's talking trash it's telling me that there is no store items for train system one mm. That's why our train is not working. Mm, okay, let's have a quick browse. Uh, <coughs> I still can't see why. Why, why, why? It's telling me... Telling me that there is no store item for that. 
all right so we have our train system and it's pulling train system one in which is definitely Durango XML train system one don't tell me that you can't rename this XML because uh, that will be very tragic so let's just do this just do a train system and then back in here let's do this for now that will be scary sad if you can't rename the, uh, the file name for the train which will be very nightmarish for me all right so we don't have uh, we, we, we've got that store data for selling station train which we've removed so let me just uh, blot this out as well just for now I don't think it will cause a problem but yeah you never know I just want to be safe um, and then train system one has been keep this in the editor no train system one obviously has been moved or renamed now to train system so so the store item now is for train system so let's just have a check now if um, everything is now kosher that could be scary if you can't rename the XML uh, if it's like sort of map bound or something you know for the train system because that's going to mean that I can only have one train which uh, which will be a nightmare but I can't think that you can only have one train per map you should be able to have more than one train why not so let us let us stay positive and hope for the best Hope for Zibest. Good. Let's have a brass. No, nope, I still don't see our train, guys. I still don't see it. So it's not the naming. What has gone wrong here? And it's our new earth. We've seen those new earths. Just want to see where it loads the train system because I don't see the error now anymore for the. St oh, there it is, train system. I'm going to just write this for item. XML train system why is it saying this guys I need to figure this out first before we can continue and see why it's giving us grief now it's not supposed to uh, do this but um, yeah I don't have an explanation for that let me figure it out and I'll carry on later on guys you're gonna laugh at me <laughs> I've just discovered another set of stupidity <laughs> here we go I forgot to put the method dollar. That's all it is. All this commotion has been only because of that stupid little line there. Map there. You have to uh, point it to the map there. That's no wonder it can't get store items for it. <laughs> My word. So what I'm going to do, uh, and by the way, I'm just going to rename it back to train system one because it needs to. I, I want to have it sort of one, two, three. You know, so keep it all there in the mod desk. Also, just change it back to train system one. And in the mod desk, uh, you don't need to have the map there again. So yeah, it's so confusing, guys. Anyways, here we go. Uh, also, of um, for the train system to load correctly, you also need to specify your vehicles for the train system. And I forgot to do that, so I've just added them straight out of the um, XML for uh, store items XML from here we go from uh, um, obviously this is Durango's but um, it is in there so you can just copy them out and put them into your 
store item section. So it's very important to have those. Otherwise, the train won't load because you don't have a train. This is the train. It's the loco and all the wagons. <laughs> and this XML calls those locos and wagons, you know, so you definitely need them in there. Okay, good. So now that we have all that sorted, I can get back to my XMLs. Just rename this to 1 so it will call the right thing. And then before I go to bed, I <laughs> just want to test this thing and make sure it is working now, finally. Did we save? We did save. Very important to make sure you save your stuff before you test. Otherwise, it won't work. <laughs> mess yourself around like I just did for half an hour I've been struggling yeah, it's, I'm tired already guys so sorry for that man I'm like bushed I should have gone to bed already long ago but uh, we, we'll get there and hopefully now it will find the store data of that XML and load our train in and I have min managed to just figure out or just get rid of some of the errors that's already uh, or some of the errors that was running through you know so yeah Let's just have a quick browse if it's now working. It will be nice to know. It's end of the day on a good note, you know. If we can't figure it out, I'll carry on tomorrow because I'm like really pushed down. Time to time to eat the sack. Uh, there it is. You see what I'm saying? And there's your callers. There's the one rent a train, and the other one is there rent a train, and then our third one great so now we should now uh, be able to rent a train here so let's just oh it, it, this train has just been here so let's quickly uh, visit it we should have our icon here press R and if you press F1 it will show uh, it should show oh somewhere somewhere stuff isn't working because it's not showing as a a rentable thing why not and this one visit nope it's still not it working a hundred percent but our train is at least showing up on the map which is a good sign so somewhere we've got a problem with our three callers I think it's probably got to do with um, with that XML that we've balanced we've missed a node somewhere or something um, yeah I just want to see if our train is at least complete, you know, so that's probably a good a good place to um, to end off. See if our train is at least showing up on the map. It will be coming from this way um, out here and if it's got sound, all of that. So we should meet it here somewhere. There it is. train doesn't have sound. Why does it not have sound? That is very strange. It thinks it's an electric loco. <laughs> really, it does think it's an electric. Uh, that's why it's got no diesel sound. Alright, but anyway, at least you can see our train is already running. Um, I will carry on tomorrow and we'll figure out the rest as we go along. Okay. Alright guys, after a bit of troubleshooting, I've found my problem. I've you, you don't use the, the transform for the caller. You actually use the trigger um, on that first line. So it's co copy the trigger um, nodes. You see my problem there is if you look at that, I just want to close that, you'll see I've got the wrong nodes in here. So it should be 010 and then 020 down to the last, uh, if you go there, it's zero two zero. Control C, drop it in here. So it is very simple, actually. What the problem was, why I couldn't rent the train, you know. <laughs> and then this will be zero three zero. Very simple. And that should solve. Okay. Control C. Almost done the wrong thing there. Like so. And I think, if I'm correct, that should be fine. And then this should be the same. So this also needs to change. Control V. So it should be 010. Control C. Let's overwrite our callers. Control V. So just keep note of that, that you don't put the transform in. You need to put the actual 
subgroup of the transform, which is the trigger. Good. So that's the caller triggers, and this is the, the hotspots for the icons and everything, what it's displaying on text and whatever, and then also the markers, what type of marker it pushes down there on that. So now, if we now go in, we should be able to just call our train and be able to see it on our trigger. It trigger should be activated when you walk on it because we now got the right link node in the XML calling the right trigger. Good. I hope it all makes sense, guys. Uh, just get to the right map. <coughs> and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Hopefully, hopefully it will be nice now, man. Yeah. Sometimes these things can take a bit of time, you know, uh, back and forth and back and forth. But yeah, eventually you get it figured out and sorted out and working correctly. That's the main idea. Great. So if we now see our train, there it is. And we can jump here to visit it. And immediately you can see on top with F1. There it is. I need to figure out why this train's noise isn't right. It's if I now press R, it's going to stop and reverse back to us. You'll see the train is going to arrive soon. It's going to slow down and uh, hopefully come back to us. Yeah, it stopped now. It should come back. Yeah, there you go. It's coming back. And then we should be able to climb in it and drive around on this large track. I must have a look at that XML, the sound on this is wrong. It's not the electric, it, it, it's the diesel sound. There's it. So the moment I've rented it, it gets the right sound. Mm, okay, I just want to get the F1 out of the way. And now I should be able, like I said, to be able to drive it. But there's no cell points yet set up for it, so we have no triggers on the track. So at least that part is now working nicely. And we should be able to fly around the map nicely. How does our wheel setup look? Our wheel setup is oh great. It's nicely on the track. If, if you find the wheels are a bit low, you can just put that that offset on the in the XML. Make it offset a little bit higher and it will lift it up a little bit. So it'd be nice. So this is the this part where the track dot goes down here and down and down and down. It must have been quite a job to uh, place this old track. It's quite a quite a work to, to do a train track. It's like the same as roads actually. You now going down here on a road is difficult getting all the angles right and looking just nice but yeah this is wonderful okay great stuff man so next next up obviously is our uh, cell points for that one track all the cell points we need to figure out and we will do that great well guys i suppose we have to end this video um somewhere <laughs> i suppose this this is just as good a spot as any you know uh just to try and make the videos too short the previous videos was over two hours so i'm gonna try and keep them to one hour roughly you know just to uh keep things uh simple but anyway we'll carry on in the next episode um where we're gonna start with all the cell points and and of the first train section you know and like i said i'm only going to do one of them because it's the other two is going to be exactly the same adding cell points adding the whole train system so i'm not going to be filming that or or, or showing that because it's going to be repetitive you know anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope it's been insightful a big thank you to my patreon supporters i really appreciate you guys um you guys have a great day as well we'll catch you on the next one cheers